Hey everybody, this is Scott from Laura Tipper Therapy, and thank you again so much for being part of this group. The headlines, how to write 25 headlines that are tracked for free, and today has been another really crazy day. Like, not just like, you guys have been awesome, like I'm loving the work, like, you know, the, the homework that you guys are submitting. Like, thank you so much for like, putting in 100% as you do this. But I just wanna show you something else, that just today, you can see like eight hours ago, I shared this same post again in a group. And just kind of take a look at this, like all of these new leads. And I just reply to them. <laughs> but this is kind of crazy. Um, it just keeps going. And then the ones I haven't had a chance to get back to yet. It just keeps going. So like we've got these um, old posts where we nailed the headline and we used this format. So just to kind of do a bit of revision. If you remember this, which is very similar to just kind of what we posted here. So headline, there's a call to action, and then there's these parts, make them think, conflict and reveal. Conflict is in um, talk about something they want but that has an issue and reveal the solution so they can kind of get a context of what it is that you're talking about. For today's lesson, we're talking about something that's a little bit more nuanced. And so just to kind of like give you guys like an idea of like what it is that we're doing. Um, we, everything I'm showing you is just the stuff that my brother and I do to run our business. So it's still growing, it's still getting bigger. Check this out. What does your market actually want? What does your market actually want? So before getting into this, just talking about like, you know, some of the issues that people can have when they're doing this work. Like the same as like, I think it's now 15 months ago, um, my partner left me, I couldn't focus. And I had to be able to get this stuff done. And we found that, sorry, I'm just adjusting it so that it looks good. We found that literally um, this thing we saw online called um, how to get your ex back. I started by like buying their ebook for eighty dollars and then buying their courses, and then we just kind of liked the way they did things, and so we just sort of copied it. If that makes sense. So, let's get straight into like what this is because, even though you know like she left with um, all the money, the life savings, we were going to buy a house. I earned it back fairly quickly, just by doing these steps that I want to get you to do, and so even like when you feel that you um you can struggle to focus. You've got to be in a group, you've got to be like in an environment that's fun. That's why yesterday we had all the joke stuff that we did, like the homework. But today, like we're just getting a little bit more nuanced with this. So let's take a look first at this middle part. So pain, pillars, promise, and promised land. This shape here is like to say that line is the pain that they're in, and they want to get to the promise, which is the product or service that's going to then deliver them to the promised land. So the promised lane is kind of like the benefit of what you offer. So if you offer hypnotherapy or coaching or NLP or expertise in any way, that's the promise. And the promised land is what that helps them to achieve. The pillars are the steps that you take them through. So we're gonna be using all of these elements in an ad and I'm gonna show you exactly how that works. But this is pretty much like all it is, these four P's, pain, pillars, promise, and promised land, that if you have this pain, here's how to get this thing. Here's the nuance, here's the um, conflict and reveal, do these steps, and it'll get you to the promised land. So let's zoom back out again. I love this part, the you and the them. We've got these two funny looking stick figures. We like to have fun and we like to make it really reductive in a way like where you can see that this isn't very complicated. There's you, there's them, and your message needs to talk about them more than you. So there's something one of my coaches said to me once, which was really, really important. Never confuse the message with the messenger. So never confuse the message with the messenger. So you are the messenger, but you're not the message. The same as I'm not the message for you. I am just the messenger. I'm just presenting this stuff <laughs> to help you to get to your promised land. So like whether you want to earn 2,000 a week or 4,000 a week or whatever it is in hypnotherapy, NLP or coaching, I'm just the messenger. The message is what to do. So as the messenger, you are allowed to talk about yourself, but it's about positioning, as in like, are you the best at something? Are you the author of, or have you received results that you can brag about? They're things you can say about yourself. The things that you really shouldn't say about yourself, or at least not too much, 
Qualifications, repetitive bragging or superiority. That's the stuff that really turns people off. So making sure that like whatever you put out in your headline, it shouldn't be I, 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 me, me, me. It should be basically talk about yourself a little bit, position, gay, um, sorry, g'day everybody or hi everybody. I'm Scott from Lawrence Hypnotherapy. I am, you know, best of, author of, and here's my results. Like, you know, I've seen over 3,000 clients. I help people to earn, you know, six figures quite easily within three weeks of starting this thing, earning six figures. So that's like what I would do, but I would not be like about me, 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 qualifications, repetitive bragging, because the same as like, you shouldn't do that as well. It turns people off. The market is them. So interview them, talk to them, find out these people who they are, ask them what they say their pain is, ask them what promise they want from you, and clarify the promised land, because this might sound weird, most people don't know what they want. It's not that there's a cash flow problem, there's a communication problem. And if you can say in more clear words than what your market can, what their problem is, like their pain, and clarify the promised land, just the pain and clarify the promised land, people will buy from you even before they find out what your path is. What you don't do is insults or comparison. Don't compare them to others unless you're complimenting them. <laughs> And never, never insult your market. Because that's a big, just don't do that. The message. So, obviously you don't do discounts and you don't um, do desperation, as in like you have to get in now or else. But what you do, how to promise if pain with pillars without anti-pillars? <laughs> What is an anti -pill? So the pillars might be like, oh, to get off cigarettes, you've got to handle the nicotine addiction, the habit, and the emotional addiction. The anti-pillars is where you talk about the opposite of that. If that makes sense. So the pillars are something like, you know, for to get off the physical addiction, it takes three days of not having nicotine in the body before the body no longer um, has nicotine in it. The anti-pillar of that is that you can talk about like a method to stay addicted, which is that as long as you keep pumping your body full of nicotine at least once every three days, you'll never get out of that go through. The habit one, again, like you just like have the pillars as in like you talk about, you give the brain sensory information, like a picture, sound and feeling of what you would like to have next or like the promised land is. The anti-pillars are, you keep saying, don't smoke, don't smoke and keep arguing about cigarettes and make it about the drug itself if that makes sense. So the pillar is what to do and the anti-pillars is what you don't do. So an example of that, like just to make it quick, how to quit smoking if your doctor said that you need to do it this week before an operation with um, staying off this, the nicotine, or clearing the body out for three days of nicotine, focusing on what it is that you'd like to have instead and giving yourself emotional goodies which are healthy and free in order to stay happy without staying addicted to the, the drug by pumping yourself every three days with nicotine, the habit of focusing on fighting or battling the cigarettes, plus leaning on the cigarettes um, to cure stress, to get to the promised land of health or to be able to have that operation that you wanted to have. Like that's kind of long and then you would trim it down. <laughs> but then don't do like discounts and desperation. So with this, let's zoom into like one of the people. And so with you, you have skills and bills, like you want to be able to pay off whatever's coming your way, you know, the bills, and you also have skills, you like want to use those, like you want to um, have a life for yourself where you get to get paid for doing the work that you want to do on your terms. So you have skills and bills, but that's not, that's the messenger, that's not the message. What you need to be talking about is the message. And to work out what the message is, you got to look at them and go, they've got a future and a now, they've got pain and pleasure. So this thing called the DDFF, dreams, desires, fears, and frustrations, interview them. So if I'm just going to go to down here again, interview them, find out what their DDFF is, like find out what they dream of. What So that's kind of their future pleasure that they want to have. I'll go back to that again. So the dreams are the future pleasure. Desires is the now pleasure. Frustrations is the now pain. And fear is the future pain. Find out those things from people. Find out how they see this situation. Interview them. And then it will help you to build this, the pain pillars promise, promise land, where you get to come up with this thing called, not that one, 
the message. How to achieve promise if pain with the pillars that you talk about without the anti pillars to get to promise land. So you're going to come up with a big chunky sentence which is way too long and then prune it and trim it down. So then there is homework for today. But it's not as long as yesterday. Because yesterday was about really being playful and fun. The homework, I want you to either interview a niche insider, so like find someone who could be your client and get them to answer these questions, or just do a post on Facebook to your niche insider and say, is anyone, let's say if smoking's your, um, your niche, say, are there any smokers here that can answer some questions for me? And then you post the questions. What are things you dream of? What are things you desire? If one person answers 25 of these, or if 25 people answer one, or you get like, you know, five people answering five, then you're going to get a really good idea of what are the words that your client's using. What words are your clients using to describe themselves, find out the dreams, desires, the fears, the frustrations? And then, step six, <laughs> write down one headline to promote a free gift. So this could be like an ebook or a video. And write one headline to promote a paid offer, which is your actual paid program that you're going to be selling. Include a call to action in both the free and the paid. So like say, type I'm in to get this for free or this for this much money. Um, and just submit it to the group in a post. Thank you again so much for being a part of this. I know this video is probably a little bit long, but you guys are doing awesome. You guys are doing good work. So here's the homework. And just before we go, let's go back to the message. How to promise if pain with pillars, without anti-pillars to get to promised land. This is like a Facebook post that you can put out. And so just again before we go, this thing, new, how to cure depression training to be available free in this group shortly, type yes if you would like this training free in this group and you'd like to be the first to know when it's up. Then all this. So this is it kind of in play. And so a lot of these groups, like I end up making between um, 5k to 20k per group off just the first 30 people. And I really want you to take a moment to like consider like that if you were to do like a Facebook post using this formula, or let's go back to yesterday's formula. Where is it? Imagine that, that you can get, you know, 100k per year or 2k per week if you do these steps correctly. So I will see you guys tomorrow.